Hey guys, welcome to another episode of eWaste Profits, where we talk about fixing PCs and flipping PCs. In today's episode, this is part of a multi-part series where we're talking about BIOS updates. I'm going to talk about Windows-based BIOS updates, uh, particularly uh, BIOS updates that can only be done inside Windows. And uh, in this particular episode, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to make a Hiren's based USB Windows 10 bootable uh, USB drive and then show you how the process works of updating the BIOS. Uh, I usually get uh, a lot of PCs at the same time so they normally don't have hard drives in them so no operating system so that's why my choice is to do Hiren's because um, I don't need anything I just put in that USB key boot everything up. So let's jump over jump over to the desktop and I'm going to show you guys how everything is uh, set up and show you how the pro update process works and uh, let's get going. Okay guys here we are on the desktop and uh, so what I'm going to do is show you where to download uh, the two things that you'll need. So you'll need um, to download Hirens, the ISO file, and the Rufus uh, utility. Uh, so basically the first thing you're going to need is a 4 gigabyte USB drive or larger. I'd probably recommend a USB 3.0 drive that's um, probably 8 gigabytes or larger as that will boot faster. And the other th thing you'll need is obviously Windows 10. Uh, you could also use Windows 7 if that's all you got. Um, so I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you go to hirensbootcd.org click on the download and then you scroll down to here there's a link to the ISO file right there and uh, I already have that uh, downloaded right here so it's about 1.3 gigabytes so just make sure you get enough space available to download that and you'll also need to download Rufus which will put the ISO file onto your USB drive uh, and I already got that uh, right here um, so, the first thing you want to do is open up Rufus, click yes, and uh, I already have a USB drive here that I made in my previous video, uh, so make sure that you have the proper USB drive selected, and then select your ISO file, uh, so I got it right here. And uh, everything else you could pretty just pretty much just leave as is, and just click on start. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to really do this. Uh, just make sure that you have the right USB drive selected, and you're okay with formatting it because it will format it and it will destroy all the data on that USB drive. Uh, so once you click OK, it's going to put everything onto that USB drive in a bootable fashion so that you can uh, boot right into Hirens. So I'll let that do its thing. Okay, now it's complete. Now the USB driver is ready to go. Uh, now what you want to do is go into that USB drive. Got some and then what I usually do is I'll make a new folder where I'm going to drop my uh, BIOS files, uh, BIOS executables. So I'll just call it something like BIOS updates. And then on this side there, you can organize it as you see fit. Uh, usually what I do is I'll separate it by manufacturer. So I'll make one folder called Dell and then I'll make another folder, usually based on the, the model number of the machine that I'm updating. And then with your um, BIOS update files, you could just drop them in here so that when you're booted into Hirens, you can access those files and uh, execute them. All right. Okay, so now we're booting off of the boot menu. Just boot using UEFI, uh, just as you normally would. Uh, just know that it won't boot from legacy, so you have to have UEFI boot enabled or else it won't boot. 
uh, how that's just how Hirons is set up. So once we're in, all you need to do is open up the file explorer, which I'll be doing in a second. Navigate to your BIOS file that you created and then go right to your BIOS executable and run it. And you do everything just as you would normally do in Windows 10. Just follow all the prompts and once everything starts it'll initiate the BIOS update. All right, guys, so that's how you create a Hirons USB boot drive to do all your Windows-based BIOS updates. And um, I use Hirons for all sorts of stuff. I do drive clones and uh, password recoveries. Uh, you'll find it's a very useful tool to have. So um, check it out. Um, and um, if you guys like this video, definitely give me a like and uh, subscribe. i got some more videos coming your way. Thanks.